The last leg of Amanda Palmer's solo world tour is taking a lot longer than expected. But New York's loss is Hawks Bay's gain with the front woman of the Dresden Dolls spending most of this year in Havelock North. I was supposed to wrap up my global tour with four shows here in Auckland, Christchurch and Wellington and that was mid-March. So I just happened to land here the week that COVID got really weird and I just kept thinking every week I would go back to New York and then every week the news from home would get worse and worse and eight months later, almost, I'm still here. Palmer says her New Zealand sojourn has not harmed her career or her earnings as she relies on patrons for an income. She now supports herself through Patreon, an online platform which lets creatives earn a regular income and gives fans access to exclusive content and events. She equates asking rather than demanding payment for her music to a stage dive, trusting the audience will support her. Professionally, I am very lucky because I'm patron supported. So unlike a lot of my indie colleagues at the same level who survive only on merch sales and touring, I have a massive group of about 15,000 patrons who basically give me a salary of a few dollars a month each and that's what pays my bills and keeps my staff paid and my office in New York paid and means that I don't have to sweat bullets right now about my inability to, to tour. I'm really lucky. She says it's hard being away from home, but she's been made to feel very welcome in New Zealand, where she has a growing fan base, here spending time with her Dunedin contingent. And recently, live streamed a concert from the Hawke's Bay Opera House. And I'll be a good defensive driver. And it's funny how I imagine. Can I just say something, by the way, that just occurred to me to tell you? Here, uh, when you make some sort of minor traffic infraction, um, nobody honks at you. But they, they give you the finger through, <laughs> through their windshield. It's like very different from New York, where everyone's just like, ah, ah, and here everyone's just like, like, I'm not going to make a noise at you, but if you look at me, I will make eye contact and I will give you the finger. I, I've learned this in Havelock North and Napier. Just, just I'm going to make little proclamations and observations like this throughout the course of the night as they occur to me, um, especially because we have a global audience and I want them to know about your culture. <laughs> I astound my friends back in America when I tell them tales about playing in theaters and going to parties and how Ash, my son, my five-year-old, hasn't seen anyone in a mask, really. And they, yeah, they almost can't believe me because their reality is now so different from ours. So it's bittersweet. Palmer resumed her New Zealand shows and continues to create as she reacts to her world as an artist without worrying about how she'll sell her art. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus. Thank you very much. Good night.